Hello everybody, welcome back to the Food and Drink Chronicles and today, you already know what I'm unboxing because you saw the title of the video and that is the Yeti Shaker. Let's do this. Alright guys, so we have the Yeti Shaker. Now, I've been waiting for this for quite a while and I'm excited for it. We're going to be testing out this shaker against a Boston Shaker. Now you know that whenever you shake with a Boston Shaker, it freezes up in your hands. So I'm expecting the Yeti not to do this. But anyways, we're gonna get into this video right now and we're gonna make a couple of drinks and we're gonna see which outperforms it. All right, so the Yeti cocktail shaker. Let's open this up right now. But yeah, but before we open this box, let's just admire the box right here. So when you get the box, you got a neat little uh, viewing here of what the cocktail shaker is going to look like. It says shaker on the side. It says Yeti cocktail shaker with 20 ounce rambler in there. So yeah, for campfire cocktails, movers and shakers, margarita, maracas, muddy martinis, building biceps as well. So we'll get into the building biceps part, but for right now, we're just going to unbox this. All right, built for the wild. Let's get it open. All right, so this is an interesting package so far. As you can see, it's kind of got this covering here that is in the shape of the bottle. So we're gonna take that out right now, and voila, we've got the Yeti. So I went with the white model of the 20 ounce Rambler here. Is it Rambler or Tumbler? Let me know in the comments. All right, so simple design. So I'm wondering if this is exactly the size of the other 20 ounces, but we're gonna find out later. For now, I just wanna take a look at this and see what it looks like. So if we pop this open right here, which that feels pretty good. Uh, it comes off pretty easily, not bad. And we got some stickers and stuff in there. So if we take it out, we have the QR code on here that you can scan to register your Yeti. I'm not gonna show you that QR code because that is my QR code. But yeah, you can register these Yeti so if they break, you can get a re replacement at the Yeti store or through mail. And I've seen them where they have like crushed cans at the Yeti store. So if you crush your bottle, you can take it back and get a brand new one. And they have, of course, all this instructional equipment. Well, instructional notes, which we're not gonna need. And you get the appropriate sticker by Yeti. And this top right here is pretty cool. So this is not a twist off top. Well, I guess it is a twist off, yeah. So that is a twist off right there. Very subtle twist to it. Uh, it's got the Yeti branding right there, which is pretty cool. Really smooth, nice design. It's got a little gasket. So this gasket right here, um, I would imagine that you're gonna have to clean it up a little bit as you use this over time because this could probably get pretty nasty, but it comes out really easily. Like I was able to take it out with minimal effort, but I think that gasket just kind of gives it a good seal on the top. So when you shake it, liquid doesn't fly everywhere. Same thing for this gasket right here. So these gaskets, they will get a little bit filthy, but you can just take them off, you can clean the gasket. And the cool thing about it is that, yeah, you won't have water flying out of your cup. But anyways, this is the 20 ounce white tumbler rambler. I'm gonna see if it goes on with another one because I have a couple more of those. All right, just so happens I have a Yeti 20 ounce Longhorn rambler. I'm gonna put this lid on here and see if it fits. Fits nicely. It actually looks pretty cool. I like that. It's a good look. Yeah, with the burnt orange. Really cool. But for this demonstration, we're just gonna be using the brand new white one that we just got. And we're gonna make a cocktail. We're gonna use the Boston shaker and we're gonna use the Yeti shaker and we're gonna see how this goes. And what I'm expecting is I'm expecting this to be very well shaken uh, with minimal ice meltage and proper dilution. So let's give it a try. 
Before I make this cocktail, I just want to let y'all know that I am not affiliated with Yeti whatsoever. So I have free reign to say whatever I want, whether it be good or bad, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. I mean, otherwise I would not have bought this product. I've been excited for it. Like, I'm really hopped up for this. And I have their coolers, I have their tumblers and ramblers. I enjoy all that stuff. So I'm excited for the Yeti lineup of cocktail shakers. I think this is gonna be cool. But here's a little pro tip, guys. So as you just saw, I was, you know, testing my other 20 ounce tumbler to see how that would work, and it worked out just fine. So if you can, you don't have to buy the tumbler and this together. You can actually buy this shaker top separately. So to buy this shaker top, it's $25. To buy the shaker top and the tumbler together, it's about 60 bucks. So if you have plenty of these, maybe just get one of these and skip out on this. All right, that's just my recommendation. All right, on to making the cocktail. So this is my favorite cocktail that I make when, whenever I'm making drinks uh, for friends and family. It is my margarita. So with my margarita, I use one ounce of lime juice and I cut that with a little bit of water, so an ounce of water. I do uh, half an ounce of agave syrup. I do two ounces of tequila and I do half an ounce of triple sec. However, with this one, I have a little shaker and spoon bottle uh, that's a different agave syrup. It's a poblano agave syrup. I'll be adding that to it and I'll be giving it a mist of grapefruit just to kind of give it like a aromatic to it. All right, and of course, to get on with the demonstration, I do need to add ice to my shakers. So I'm gonna add ice to this one and ice to this one. And I'm gonna see which one I think performs better. Now that I've added my ice right off the bat, this Boston shaker is really cool to the touch. This one is not. And with the first pour, just added my lime juice. Now I gotta get my syrup. So again, I am using a bottle from Shaker and Spoon, and I have right here an ancho jalapeno agave syrup. So it just makes it a little bit spicier than a regular mar margarita. But I'm just gonna do about half an ounce of that. So half an ounce into each cocktail. You guys, I'm into the Oxo brand. So I have this Oxo measuring thing right here, which is pretty cool. And I've got a couple of these as well. Really cool brand. Maybe Yeti should make some little measurement cups <laughs> to go with their cocktail shaker. That'd be kind of cool. All right, adding the tequila, I got a bottle of Hornitos here. Don't judge me, this is a Costco bottle. It's pretty big. But, you know, when you're making a lot of cocktails, you need something like this. And I'm just doing two ounces of tequila. And I got my triple sec here from Sterling's. So I'm gonna do half an ounce of that into each drinking vessel. All right, so before you make your drink, make sure you prep your glass, which this one I have added some salt to it, added some ice, and I've added a lime. Now, right off the bat with the Boston shaker, you do not have a strainer on it. So you do have to strain it, which I have this strainer to go with it. So we will be straining each of these drinks. I'll be straining that one with that strainer and I'll be straining this one with the Yeti strainer. Now I don't expect this to take out all of the pulp from the drink, but it will take out some. Uh, mainly it'll just like, you know, keep that ice from passing through. All right, anyways, we're gonna start with the Boston shaker. So I'm gonna give this one a shake right now and we're gonna talk about it. Anyways. Wait a minute, one second though. What did this box say? I just remembered something. So this is where we get to um, build our biceps. All right, so I'm gonna build my biceps by shaking this glass. And I'm gonna shake for quite a while here. So about a good 30 second shake for proper dilution, breaking up that ice, and damn, is it getting frosty. Yeah, this is just starting to really freeze up. So as you shake even more, it'll start building up ice around this and it can get stuck to your hands if you're uh, not acclimated to that kind of cold. Anyways, we're gonna strain this drink. I'm gonna put it right in here. Beautiful pour. It 
good drink. But you know what? It's missing the aromatics. So I'm gonna give us a nice spray of grapefruit. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Not bad. I don't think I recommend putting grapefruit in this actually. I think I need to get away from this. But the aromatics is kind of neat. I think the grapefruit would probably be better for like a Paloma. All right, so now shaking with the Yeti. This is pretty heavy, I will say that. The Boston shaker is much lighter. I'll have to get the weight on this. But anyways, I'm gonna start shaking and I'm just gonna try shaking like this. Nothing flying off, of course. Normally you're gonna shake it like this. But still, this is pretty good. I mean, nothing's flying off of here. There's no water flying anywhere. Those gaskets are working really well. And another thing too, this is not getting cold at all. So it's well insulated. I don't feel any kind of coldness whatsoever. So I could shake this all day, but it's a workout. My biceps are feeling it. This is much heavier than the Boston Shaker. All right, let's give it a pour. Wow. I'm gonna try an orange oil spray. See if that goes well with the margarita. Probably should have gotten like maybe some lime oil. All right. Orange oil does taste good in it. Hmm. I think I would say that with this one, well, you know what, let's take a look. Let's see which ice melted the most. Cause I got a feeling that the first one the ice really got dissolved. Actually, as a matter of fact, it did. So if you look at this one, the ice is just completely gone from there. I don't know if y'all can see that, I may have to film it later, but this one, you have ice in there. So that's the difference. On one hand, this is a lot lighter and this is a lot heavier, but you get proper dilution when you use this Yeti cocktail shaker. I mean, that ice is still there. It's not melted. Now, as far as breaking apart the ice, it did break apart a little bit. I feel like within these, you know, with this one, it might break up a little bit more because it's melting, it's cracking. This one, it's probably not gonna break up as much. It's gonna be more solid. So if you wanna do like, you know, like the dump, where you just dump your drink in there with the ice, depends on what you want. Like, do you want your ice a little bit crushed or do you want it to be whole ice, or you want to get really fancy and just use a big cube. I mean, you can throw a big cube into each one of these, and I'm pretty sure you're still gonna have a big cube in this one, and you're gonna have cube pieces in this one. So it's your choice. But yeah, I think I like this one a lot more. The ice is still really melting in this Boston shaker. It's starting to really liquid. It almost makes me think that I did not get all the drink out of there, but I know that I did. It's just ice melting. Whereas the ice in here, it's not melting. So that's the cool thing about this shaker so far. That's why I was excited for it, is because when you use a Yeti as a shaker, you're not gonna get melting ice. You're not gonna have a liquid, you know, you're not gonna have like a drink that's been like, you know, just liquefied and, you know, watered down. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about this shaker, let me know. But I personally think you gotta go get one of these. These are awesome, they're worth the money. And like I said, if you already have one of these, then you just gotta buy one of these. Anyways, that's gonna do it. Food and Drink Chronicles out.